it was done not with your permission. Now I see it as a blessing in this guy because for Rihanna to follow me. <laughs> there are millions of Africans with tribal marks and you probably know a friend who has one. Leave a comment if you do. Not like that of Killmongers though. These are obviously an overkill. No pun intended. But how and why do Africans still have these marks on their faces and other parts of their body? Well, here is the never told story behind scarification in Africa, aka tribal marks. Let's go. Unlike in other parts of the world where you choose any tattoo you want, where you want it, and in a matter of minutes, you are a bona fide owner of a tattoo, when it comes to scarification, the story is quite different. In some areas, it is a long and painful process. Probably the most fascinating reason for these marks are for their medicinal purposes. The Dagombes of Ghana use scarification as a special traditional treatment for convulsions, measles, pneumonia, stomach pains. The list is endless. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, this is where it gets interesting. It is believed that these sicknesses originate in the blood, so the skin is cut by a traditional healer. Traditional medicine, in the form of powder or potion, is then applied to the wound so that it may travel directly into the bloodstream. This is ingenious. If you also happen to see this mark on a woman, it could be as a sign of beauty. Women would do anything, including having to face a knife to remove or conceal a scar. In some African countries, many women look at these cars as marks of beauty and family pride. Nuba girls of South Sudan traditionally receive marks on their forehead, chest and under the breasts. I don't know about you watching this video, but some men find these very attractive and they claim raised scars on women a certain parts of their body stay sensitive for many years and gives an erotic sensation in women when touched or stroked. Huh. I bet you didn't see that coming. The Mercy of Ethiopia also practice this for largely aesthetic reasons. Creating these dotted patterns on their bodies may not necessarily mean anything. It is just to attract the opposite sex and enhance the tactile experience of, you know what. For men, scarification was a sign of strength, courage and bravery. This procedure is understandably painful and takes a long time to heal. So going through such an ordeal without howling was a brave thing and crying would be embarrassing yourself and your family. The more scars a man had, the more respected he is in the society. Today, some tribes in Africa still use scarification as a means of identification. This practice was popular among the Yoruba of Nigeria, Benin and Togo. Research shows tribal marks came into Nigeria during the colonial era when Africans were captured and taken to foreign countries as slaves. The idea then among African tribes was to mark their family members so it would be easy to locate them if captured or identify them when freed. These types of marks are also very common among the Dink of Sudan which is normally found around their temples. Same goes for the Gunja and Fafra of Ghana. Now do you find body markings or scarifications to be particularly beautiful? Let us know in the comment section below. Do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay beautiful, stay amazing, stay safe. Peace.